Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have a huge tub of empties. These are for October. I am still filming them like mid-September. I just go through things so fast that they add up and I feel like there are, I think I say this every single time, but I feel like they are a lot of favorites, some fails, etc. <clears throat> so let's get started. You guys have seen this a thousand times, probably Pearly's Blue Lotus, my absolute favorite um, face wash. I My secret is getting it on Ipsy for a fraction of the price. This is $36. I would say I routinely pay $10 for it. Um, I love it. It's the perfect amount of clean, but yet moisturizing and a good skincare ingredients. Um, <clears throat> Walmart candles, you've also probably... Um, I love Walmart candles basically. I think this is now up to like four dollars. I love the smell payoff. Almost all their candles have a really good smell payoff. I really like the apple pumpkin. It's like fall but not like super pumpkin. So I really enjoyed that. My absolute favorite way to exfoliate is a clay mask. This is by BioClarity. I usually buy it on Amazon. It's about 25 bucks. It is, it gets like hard as a rock and like crackle hard, but I, my skin looks so much better after. I love this. So I've repurchased this countless times. I've been using it for about five years. Absolute fail. I will bring this to school. This is Blake Lively's dry shampoo. It absolutely made my hair crunchy. Um, I suppose it's okay for oil absorption. It wasn't bad, but I just don't understand why anybody would want their hair to feel crunchy after you spray something. So it's called Blake Brown. It's at Target. I don't recommend. Waste of money. It is totally, I've only used it twice, but both times it just made my hair feel like straw. I just absolutely do not like it. Fenty eye cream. The Fenty part has worn off. I really enjoy this stuff. It has a very unique packaging where it's a twist and then the product comes out. I really like it. It's very thick and that's my preferred eye cream. I really want a very thick, nice eye cream. Um, I think the full price is 36. I got my first one in my Ipsy. This is my second one and I have a third one, but I paid like 10 or $15 on Ipsy. So I love them $15 worth. I don't know. I'm hoping I can still get them cheaper on Ipsy. So right now, Ipsy is my secret for that. I think I'm done buying scrubs at Trader, not Trader Joe's, um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Like this was just, we're not even finishing it. My husband doesn't ever complain. He does not like this. It leaves like a sticky residue. The Trader, I keep saying Trader Joe's, Marshalls or TJ Maxx are not that much cheaper than Walmart. Walmart sugar scrubs in different brands do not have that sticky feeling. So that was absolutely a uh, no. My favorite way to do sheet masks now is Face Tori through Amazon. You can get a big 36. I don't, you get a lot of masks and it ends up being like $1.50 a mask. I don't know whether it's like 30, 35 masks. You can also buy like a five pack for $10. So it's $2 a mask. This is one of my favorite masks by them. I really like this. My skin just seems to look better. It has royal jelly, which I've never heard of, but the SOS mask, I really feel like helps my skin. Um, Face Tori, I feel like has the best masks and I prefer Amazon versus their subscription box. Absolute favorite, Holy Grail. We'll probably never live without it. Um, evening, basically night cream, Dr. Jart Ceramidin. And luckily, again, I've been getting this on Ipsy. I have probably two more backups. Absolutely love it. This is a $48 product. It has five ceramides, fairly high up on the list. It is thick and it is just nice. My skin looks better. I took a break from this and my skin was not happy. Love that. Total Holy Grail. This is my Holy Grail makeup remover by La Octane. At the moment, I am taking a break. This is fairly pricey. I don't know, I'm thinking $40-ish. 
but it is an oil to milk. And so it goes on as an oil and the minute water touches it, it is a, a milk. So no oil residue. It leaves your skin clean and moistured. I found a different brand at Costco that I'm trying. I don't like it as much, but it was $29 for like two full size bottles and then a travel size. So I am taking a break from this because it is pricey. I will also say the packaging is fairly lame. It's just a plastic container and this one like really just stuttered and spurted. And so for an expensive product, I think we could spend like 10 more cents on the bottle. Um, but that is my Holy Grail face cleanser. I love this stuff. I repurchased through Ipsy, uh, Rose Court Muse Mask. Some hair masks are really meant to be a mask before you shampoo. And then some masks I feel like can be used as a conditioner. This is one where you can use it as a conditioner. I love this. I bought two more and they're larger for whatever reason with Ipsy. I got this through Ipsy, bought them through Ipsy. I think they're like $36 full price on their website. I believe I bought two tubs for $10. Absolutely. My hair needs moisture, yet it can't be too moisturizing or it weighs my hair down. And that was chef's kiss. I really enjoyed the Dionis, if that's how you say it, um, body scrub. I loved this. I got this in a box. I don't know where you buy it. It was saying it was $9.99. I would probably pick it up. It's a little pricier than the tubs I usually get because you get less and it's more expensive. But I, w I really liked the consistency, the amount of scrub to dissolve ratio so it's not too tough. Really, really liked that. All right, this was a product that I had seen more than one influencer rave about. It was eight bucks, so I thought, why not? This is the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. Maybe I don't know. I didn't know what a satin foundation was. I don't like this. And what I've gathered now, since I do not like this, I've tried it twice, is that a satin foundation, I think, is in between glowy and matte. I want glowy. I don't like matte. To me, this hugs my dry spots or just kind of settles and creases. So anyway, it was an $8 gamble. Absolutely do not like it. This was the FabFitFun candle. What a joke to me. When I burn a candle, I want it to be in your face, pretty much smell. I don't think anybody in my house could smell it. I'm sure my husband was appreciative of that. Um, like when you sniff it, it smells good, but there was no outward smell to me. And so this was, I think, billed at like a $40 or $60 candle. I want to smell. I much prefer my $5 Walmart candle. This was, I think, a miss. I don't know. I was having issues with acne for a moment. And so I basically went to Walmart and was looking for acne. And this is by Bubble. It is like their pimple wand and it has salicylic acid. And so I was putting it on my nose. It dried up. So like what normally would be a white head and like you would pop it, it like dried that up, but the red spot was stuck there. So I don't know. I don't think that this was working for me. Jury's still out. I still have it. We will see. I will try it like one more time when I get another acne breakout, but it was kind of a no-go. I ended up having to get this. I always use Mitchum. I liked the scent and the deodorant worked fine. But on my Mitchum, I can dial what I like. And this is like a click. And so I felt like one click wasn't enough. And so I always did two clicks. And so my only complaint with this secret is the clicking thing. I use too much. So I didn't like that I couldn't dial it in to what I wanted. All right, this is a disappointment. This is the Maybelline Firework. I love Maybelline. They have my Holy Grail mascaras. I was excited. I don't understand this. There are days where this works awesome, fans them out, lengthens, no clumps, and then and it lasts forever. Then there are days where it's gone by the end of the day. There are days where it's clumpy. I don't really understand. I, I'm not super excited about the wands. I don't know what is wrong with this, but for me, it's inconsistent. 
and I don't have time for that. I want a product that pretty much I am getting the same results every time. And this is just like too hit or miss. When it's a hit, it's great, but boy, it can be a miss. And I am not a fan. It's even, I've even had times where it's flakes. So I don't know. No way. Don't want it. All right. I really liked this neck cream. I got it in a box. I've never heard of the brand, but just in case you have, I really did like it. I love a neck cream. I never pay for a neck cream. I get them in boxes or I just use the moisturizers I get in boxes. But I always recommend neck cream. Take your skincare down to your neck. I love this Trader Joe's Rose Water. I use it as kind of a morning self-care. I don't really think of it as a toner. It's more of a serum and then I use my face massager. But I have had countless bottles of that. It's like $3.99. Really like it. Here we have one of my Holy Grail Maybellines. This is Lash Sensational. I really like it. I bought multiple tubes of this. I will definitely repurchase. The wand is kind of like a curved little horn. Really like this. I feel like this gets, you know, really lengthens, really separates. Very consistent. Same look every day. I love it. Sadly, REM, the packaging is wonderful. The color is really nice, but this is their lip oil. Oh, and I love the applicator. Love. Super unique. Love the metal ball. This stuff dries your lips out. You put it on, it feels good. 20 minutes later, your lips are dry. Hate, hate, hate. Sad. Luckily, I only paid eight bucks for it because it was in the Ulta sale. Not worth the time. And there were quite a few reviews that did say it dried it out. So I don't know. All right, this was a, what's the word? I can't think of the words. False product, that's not a word. Anyway, I ordered this from Walmart's website thinking it was the actual brand of sunscreen. This was a, is it a dupe? I don't know what the word is, but they were, I don't know. I can't think of words. I can't. This was basically a fraudulent product. Sad. I'm not even convinced I was putting on sunscreen for three months. My husband thinks I was. But anyway, I ended up ordering it from a reputable dealer. Totally different packaging. Totally different writing. Different cap. So very sad. So I will say if you're ordering on Amazon, Walmart, you really have to be careful. Walmart.com is like pretty much like Amazon. Anybody can sell. So especially Korean skincare and especially a lot of products, they're selling you fraudulent goods. There has to be a word for that. I can't think of it. So I did like this except for, I can't really give a good review because this was a fraudulent product. That's the best word I can come up with. All right, this was terrible in so many ways. This is the Sally Hansen Instant Dry. It does Insta Dry, but that's the only thing. It goes on like super, like in the bottle, it is super sparkly. But when it dries, it looks matte and terrible until you put on a top coat. So you have to put on a top coat. It does not last. It chips off. I don't think it applies well. Uh, I just absolutely do not like it. I think I, I love the Sally Hansen gel. Um, this is just terrible. I've tried it twice. It just looks like junk every time I put it on. All right, this is one of my new favorite products. Every now and then, I feel like you need to change up your skincare routine. I saw this, I think it's like $14. This is the Inky List Collagen Peptide Serum. I'm not sure that's focusing. Uh, absolutely adore. My skin has never looked better. And um, it's a very thin, slippery thing. And let's see, I'm trying to find the ingredients. Citric acid, so it does have vitamin C. It's been okay for my skin, which is very rare. And it has one, two, three, four, four peptides. Two kind of in the middle, two kind of at the bottom. But my skin loves this. I love the price. Kind of don't like the packaging, but... 
I love this. All right, NYX Fat Oil. I think I have two of them in here. I don't know. I'm kind of falling out of love with this. Um, I definitely, absolutely do not recommend the red. It is full. I am getting rid of it. It is terrible. Um, this one kind of, like, I felt like spoiled. And then, for some reason, I ended up buying a Costco three-pack. This red looks like a little kid's chapstick or a little kid drank Kool-Aid and got it everywhere. It's kind of a patchy red to me. And then if you ever go mm, to your lips, it's like everywhere. It's just terrible. I also get tired of like fighting with this huge doe foot to get, get it out of the package. So I'm just getting rid of this. I can't stand the way it looks. I did start the pink one that came in the Costco pack. The pink one is way better. It's just this red one. Absolutely do not recommend that. All right, Heritage Mindy McKnight. I have repurchased this several times. We are kind of like, I think I phased out of this. I found this during COVID and it's been a staple in either my daughter's shower or my shower for a while, but I've moved on. So my hair needs to be cleansed because it gets oily, but it can't be stripping because then my hair gets dry. And so this was the best I had found until Pureology. Pureology is my holy grail. I was using this in my daughter's hair, but I think both of us have just moved on. So I do think this is a very lovely kind of budget option. It's like nine bucks. Um, and it's a light cleanse without stripping. Um, but like I said, we've moved on. Our budget one now is the Mark Anthony. I think it still cleanses, which is slightly more moisturizing, but not too much. So again, if you're looking for a new, a budget-friendly shampoo, I would recommend the Heritage Mini McKnight. But again, like I said, we're kind of moving past it. Their hair mask and their shampoo, I'm kind of on the fritz with. I don't know whether they've changed their formula, cheapened their product, or I've just moved on to better things, but it was fine when we were using it. All right, I like Polish Choice Sunscreen, and I thought I would try a new one, but it's just no. And I've now found Korean skincare uh, sunscreen I like better, but this was just no. It was like a yellow, it was thick. My skin did not like it. And so for 36 bucks, you wanna love it. I do love their Youth Extending Fluid and their other one. Um, but this particular um, skin moisturizing resist was just an absolute miss. I ended up using it on my neck and arms because it was so bad for my face. All right, this is Beekman 1802 Dewy Eyed Eye, Eye Cream. This is very thin. I mean, almost watery thin. I like a very thick eye cream, so this was no. I think there's still possibly some in here. Yeah, like it is just watery thin, as you can now see it dripping down. I don't like that. Some people probably like a very thin eye cream. I am not that person. I want it to be very thick. I love this stuff. So the doctor told me a few years ago I need to get more calcium. This also has magnesium, which is helping me kind of sleep, and it has zinc. So this is a Trader Joe's. I like this a lot. Super cheap. And it kind of does three things in one, which I really like. All right. This is Alginus. This was her vitamin C. It stung-ish or kind of, yeah, it kind of stung when I put it on. But my skin seemed to like it. But, like, the stinging kind of scared me. Um, expensive, so I wouldn't necessarily repurchase. Uh, this is the Byro eye cream. Again, it was too thin. I don't really know. Byro is one of those, like, super expensive brands where you kind of wonder. Is it inflated for boxes? Is it that wonderful? They're always, like, 80, 90 bucks. I don't really know if I agree with that. And then I do essential oils when I'm sick. I started with doTERRA and a friend gave me this, but now I've moved on to Eden's Garden because they're cheaper. But On Guard is one that I keep keep on hand. Anyway, those are my October empties. I try to go fast because there is a lot of them. Anyway, have a great day and I will talk to you soon.